All right, in this video, we're just going to start our retro game final project. And to start, we're actually going to open up our FIGS program, the Fonts, Images, Gravity, and Sound project from the previous assignment. We're going to start by actually creating a fork or a duplicate of our FIGS program. And we're going to turn the FIGS into our final project. Okay, we don't want to edit the FIGS project that's already been turned in. We want to kind of start with a new copy. Uh, for the FIGS program, you should have a fully functioning splash screen where if I click on the screen, it then begins the game. I have Mario that moves left and right, and if I press A, Mario is able to jump on top of this platform here, uh, and that is our program. Now, if you do not have a fully functioning FIGS project, if you have any, any error messages, you can create a fork of my program, which is titled Jason E's FIGS Project which is linked on Google Classroom or the interactive programming class in the first program section. To make a fork, we're just gonna hit the fork button right here. Then we're gonna hit create fork. That's gonna load a new program in my documents and it says a fork of Jason E's figs. Let's hit the I, then let's hit edit and let's rename this. Now you can either call this, you know, Jason's final project or you can call it, if you know the name, I'm gonna stick with Mario here, so I'm just gonna call it Adventures of Mario, and if you want in description, you can say Jason E's Final Project Interprog 2020. All right, go ahead and rename it and hit Submit. And in this first part video, we're just gonna take figs and change it to be ready for our additional content that we're going to add. Over the next couple weeks, we're going to add things like coins uh, to gain points. We're going to add bad guys where you could lose lives. We're going to add a timer, uh, a scoreboard, and actually turn this into a little mini game where Mario has to run around, jump around, collect things, avoid things, and uh, finish in a certain amount of time. But we're going to do that gradually. Today, we're just going to go ahead and set this up. So we already have figs. Let's go to our code here. Uh, I'm going to change this first line title to final project. Uh, make sure it has your name um, up here. So like who was it designed by? Okay. I don't need to save as a sketch. Instead, I'm going to add created by Jason Erdreich. You should put your name there. And the other thing I want to change, is I just want to change our splash screen. So we have it say figs and how to play. Let's go ahead and add some more instructions. So let's scroll down to our splash screen here. All right, here we go, figs. I'm gonna change this title to Adventures of Mario. Again, you should change this to be by your name. Let's press play and make sure that still fits on the screen. Looks great. Um, and then how to play, I'm gonna add some additional content here because we're gonna add some more things to actually interact with for Mario. So I'm gonna add another line. I just copied and pasted this text command. I'm gonna say, um, obtain all coins before time runs out. And let's change our Y from being 380, let's make that uh, 430. Let's see what that looks like. Obtain all coins before time runs out. Click screen to start. Um, and you know what, I'm actually gonna add this. So I'm gonna take press A to jump, and I'm gonna add that to this line, press A to jump, and I'm gonna add watch out for Goombas. Those are the bad guys in Mario. So let's press play, use arrow keys to move left and right, press A to jump, watch out for Goombas, obtain all coins before time runs out. So there we go, so there's our splash screen, there's our instructions for our Adventures of Mario game. And I'll just highlight what I changed here. And again, I'm in the splash screen uh, section. As we go, we're gonna start to add things like points, uh, coins, etc. In the next uh, video, part two, is actually gonna be adding the coins and obtaining points. I'm gonna roll out one video for each class period, and they're all gonna be kind of short, like this one. Um, the other thing that you can look at is if you've created a fork, if you haven't created a fork and if you've used your own program, make sure that you have 
the necessary files. So if you've made a fork of my program, notice that I already have obviously the Mario, the jump sound, the things that we're using, but I also have a Mario coin file, I have a Mario Goomba file, I even have a Mario power up file. So these are things that we're not using yet, but we're gonna start to use them as we add points. If you wanna upload your own image, you can hit select, and then you should be able to browse images that you have on your computer to upload them to this. In a later video, I have a bonus where I show how to change the theme, uh, where if you don't wanna do the Adventures of Mario, you could change it to be like the Adventures of R2-D2 or any other type of game that you'd like to do. But for this video, this is all we wanted to do today. We just wanna make a fork of our FIGS program and rename everything to be prepared for our final project. The last step, of course, is to save. And for your final project, I'd like you to submit as you go. So instead of submitting the entire thing at the end, we're gonna submit this right now to the interactive programming class. So let's go ahead and go hit the share button right here, top right corner. Submit to class, hit select. Go to interactive programming and scroll down to the final project. Let's go ahead and turn this into our final project. As you continue to edit this, it's gonna automatically update your submission. So you no longer have to submit it every week. Um, as you make changes, it's going to update and I'll be able to see those changes as you go. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and keep up the great work.